Setbacks are unavoidable. But giving up is unforgivable. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. Well, I'm here in Washington, D.C. after a remarkable week in American politics. We had an incredible election victory for Donald Trump and one of the most unprecedented election campaigns ever seen in America. Two assassination attempts, a Democrat swapping leaders midstream. Up there is the Washington Memorial. Behind me here is the Lincoln Memorial, two big symbols of American democracy. There's certainly some hand wringing among Democrats about the future of American democracy in the wake of Donald Trump's second election victory. But honestly, this week, the democratic process spoke very clearly and very plainly. These flags you see around here, there's 50 of them circling the Washington Monument. They represent one flag for each state. Only 16 of those flags, 16 states, voted for the Democrats. And so it was really a thumping election win to Donald Trump. Now behind me there, through the bushes, is the White House. Inside is Joe Biden. And Joe Biden is feeling the heat at the moment. Recriminations are coming thick and fast. The general feeling is that he is very much responsible for Kamala Harris's loss. He stayed too long in, um, as a candidate. He should have only run one term. Uh, Hubris got the better of him. And by the time he belatedly and the rest of America realized how impaired he was with his age, it was too late. Kamala Harris was not given long enough time to run her campaign, to develop her policies, and he more or less threw her to the wolves. Now, having said that, I think that uh, Trump would have won anyway. I think inflation, price, cost of living, and immigration were so, such potent issues that no Democratic candidate probably would have won. But there's going to be a lot of recriminations now in the Democrat Party for quite a long time. Behind me there, in the distance you may be able to see, is the Congress. And votes are still being counted, but it looks like Donald Trump may actually sweep both houses of Congress, the Senate and the House of Representatives. And if that's the case, then he will have a lot of power to actually implement his agenda. He will be a much more effective president than he would have been if he didn't have the support of Congress. So there's a huge amount of anticipation about what the second Trump presidency will look like. It's been a wild, wild couple of months in America, and it's been an incredibly exciting election.